So if your phone's about to die while you're at the airport or at a hotel or just walking around a major city, apparently you should not use a public charging station. The FBI says when you need a boost, you should use your own cords and plugs instead. That's because those shared chargers could be spreading malware and monitoring software to your device. Once you plug to a compromised port, hackers are able to access your location and other private information stored on your phone. So for more on this, let's talk to Holly Hubert. She's the CEO of Global Security IQ and a former FBI supervisory special agent. Uh, Holly, so this is kind of remarkable. I mean, I, I could see where a public charging station on the street could be susceptible to malware or uh, spyware, but in your hotel room, like you're staying at a fancy Four Seasons and you gotta worry about uh, whether or not you can plug your phone into the provided USB charger? Yes, unfortunately, wherever there's opportunity, criminals will go. And this is just another new, what I call threat surface for attackers to steal your data. I, well, how are hackers able to do this? I mean, a lot of times there's, uh, you know, whether it be on a big system, you see them on ATMs around here in New York. There's also a lamp that has a USB plug in. How are they able to do this? Well, the actual compromise resides on the USB device itself. Mm. So plug your cable in. It's important for people to know that your cable is used for charging, obviously, but it's also used for data transfer. So when we plug it in and upload our pictures to our home laptop, that cable is used for data transfer. So they actually do make cables that are just for charging to help prevent this type of attack. Um, when you plug your, your device in, um, if there's a malicious code or a compromise on that USB that you're plugging into, data can be exfilled or extracted through that cable. Mm. Wait, so so there's, there's data on that cable? Like the cable you're holding up? No, the data is able to be transmitted on the cable. Okay. So for example, <laughs> when you have your, your home iPhone, when you have your iPhone and you plug it into your home computer, you're able to upload your photos, for example, and other data. And so that data transmits through the cable. The actual, in this case of this particular threat, the actual malicious code result, resides on the USB itself that you're plugging into. Hmm. Um, so the question now, all right, so a couple of things that you've highlighted. One is that the uh, malware exists on that specific charging station that yeah. you might be using, uh, which would mean then that a nefarious actor installed it specifically on that device or in that hotel room or at that airport kiosk, right? That's right. And so how widespread so is this? Well, I don't think there's data on how widespread it is yet, however, uh, more and more when you go into airports, you see more and more uh, for convenience charging stations. And so there's also devices that are multi-port USB. So a criminal actor can just plug one in and you might think that the airport put it there or uh, some vendor put it there, but it was actually a nefarious threat actor that, that uh, plugged in a port and tried to get innocent individuals to plug their phone in. Well, the FCC started warning about this in, in 2021. Here we are in 2023. Why hasn't this been talked about more? Why hasn't it been stopped yet? Well, I think it's very difficult to stop because the malicious code is embedded again on that USB device itself in which you plug. So it's very, very difficult to detect. But you bring up a good point. All organizations should be doing really good threat assessments and uh, risk assessments and vulnerability identification. So perhaps airports and others should be checking for this sort of thing to protect consumers. Imagine having to run a virus scan on, on something you plug into. Right. Wild. Yeah. Uh, Holly Hubert, th thank you very much for enlightening us. Absolutely. My pleasure. Thank you.